Nowhere in Minnesota are there more cases per capita than in Nobles County in the far southwestern part of Minnesota. Nobles County now has 866 known cases. Most of those cases are traced to the outbreak at the JBS pork processing plant in Worthington. Production at that plant remains closed with only a skeleton crew there euthanizing hogs that farmers no longer have room to keep. As Bill Hudson explains, grassroots efforts are helping fill some basic needs. If Minnesota's pandemic has an epicenter, you'll find it in Nobles County, where mass testing shows a per capita infection rate of 4%. We've seen a definite change here in Worthington, uh, especially over the last you know, week and a half. City Council member Chad Cummings operates four area radio stations. With Main Street hurting, his radio drive sold $135,000 in gift cards to local businesses. Everything that's vital to a small rural community is shut down and not functioning. But yet the big box stores, there's no such thing as social distancing hardly. That's also the challenge in getting the local JBS pork plant up and running again. The outbreak among workers represents at least 40% of the county's 866 COVID cases. People are terrified absolutely terrified. Father Jim Callahan at St. Mary's Catholic Church says the fear is palpable. His parish serves the faith, food, and medical needs of many of the plant's immigrant workers. Not only have their incomes definitely gone down and some have just stopped altogether. They're making choices. Do I buy my medication or do put food on the table or put, you know, pay my rent? While the plant and union look for ways to reopen safely, Father Callahan says parishioners will continue caring for the most vulnerable as needs and numbers continue to grow. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. The Smithfield pork plant in nearby Sioux Falls will partially resume production Monday. There's no indication of when workers could return to the JBS plant in Worthington.